Hi friends, today we're diving into a topic really close to my heart, and that is living a life fueled by your authentic passions, the life you actually want to live. It's about shedding the shoulds of life and embracing the coulds. So if you're watching this, you may be standing at a crossroads, you may be thinking about a pivot in life, something that both excites you and probably terrifies you too. And I just want you to know with this video that you are not alone. I always say life is short, but it's also long, meaning that life is short enough because you don't know how much time you're gonna have here. And that should fill you with fire to make every moment of every day count. But at the same time, life is long enough that while you're here, you can experience many different versions of yourself, many different versions of your career. You are truly not limited to just one thing. There's no reason to be stuck doing just one thing unless that one thing is your biggest passion. My name is Danielle Kimmy Torres, and I've been a director of marketing for over 10 years. But before that, there were so many versions of myself, right? There was like the singing career version. Immortal, invisible, God only was in life, inaccessible, hid from our eyes. There was an events version, an events career. There was a fashion company. You know, at one point I ran a healthcare patient experience training company and they were all successful ventures and they all happened before I was 40 years old. So I think many of us, especially between 30 and 50 years old, we find ourselves yearning for a change. We've built careers, families, and lives that from the outside may seem really fulfilling, yet there's a whisper within us. There's something that's just calling for more. And it's scary, isn't it? That thought of, upending your life and just starting fresh, going into the unknown. According to a Gallup poll, only 15% of adults worldwide are engaged in their jobs. That means a staggering 85% of people are not living up to their full potential. And I think often it's because they're just afraid to pursue their true passions. Listen, even if you love your job and disclaimer, I totally love mine. You may have other things that you want to pursue. You know, you may have that itch just to see what you're capable of. And you may experience that inner question. Like I often do, if I really tried, how far could I go? So what holds us back? Is it fear? A lot of times it is. It's fear of failure, fear of judgment, fear of loss. And if you're someone who struggles with fear, I want you to know that I'm going to leave a link in the comments to my document on what holds us back. And it's going to address the five major fears that, that so many of us experience and what you can do about that. So that's in the comments. I'm also going to be making a video about it next week. So just for a moment, Instead of imagining fear or fear of failure or, you know, fear of people's opinions, instead of that, I'd love for you to close your eyes right now and picture yourself living every day with purpose and joy. Picture yourself doing what you love and what truly ignites your soul. Like really imagine it. So let me just say, I'm actually not talking about manifestation here. I don't believe in manifestation because I know that thinking about something doesn't magically make it happen, right? The true key is always believing the life you desire is possible because really having that true belief that it's possible is what's going to give you courage to take action. And it's actually the actions you take that are going to allow you to live the life of your dreams. Some of my favorite people in this world have made major pivots in life and they've ended up making a huge impact on me and a huge impact on the world. You know, you look at people like Michelle Obama, who's lived so many lives, right? She went from being a lawyer to a fundraiser, and then she switched to being the first lady of the United States. And now she's a humanitarian and a thriving author, and she's still quite young. So that just shows what I'm saying. Life is long and you can take a lot of surprising pivots. Let's take Martha Stewart. She started a catering business at 35 and she didn't become well known till she was over 40. 
as you all know about Martha Stewart, there were some not so fun pivots in her life as well, right? She did a prison stint, but coming out of that, she pivoted again. And now she's like walking red carpets with Snoop Dogg and she's unbelievably gorgeous at the age of 82. So she shows that regardless of what happens in your life that's good or regardless of what's been thrown in your life that's bad, you can still pivot and make your life extremely successful and enjoyable. Dwayne Johnson is another amazing example of this, right? He went from being a linebacker to performing in WWF as a wrestler to becoming one of the highest paid movie stars of all time. And now he's a part owner in a tequila company that has him at almost a billion dollars in net worth. So it is possible. But here's the thing, if you don't build your life and if you don't find what really brings you joy and excitement, then you are gonna live according to other people's desires and expectations. You might find that you're just living to fulfill someone else's dream. And for some people, I know that's fine, but it's not fine for you, right? Because if it was fine for you, then you wouldn't be watching this video but I know you're here because you want to live life on your own terms. And in order to do that, you have to figure out what you want. The number one hardest thing for many of us is to figure out what it is that we want. 95% of people I meet on a regular basis cannot tell you when it all boils down to it, what they want for their own lives. And that is just not okay. This is your life we're talking about. It is important that you take the time to assess what you really want or else you live someone else's dream. So I want you to take the time and put in the work to find this out. And the way I find this out is I have a process that I do every quarter to find out what season I'm in and what I really want moving forward. So I ask myself these three questions. Number one, what do I like and what do I enjoy? Number two, what are the things I focus on when no one is paying me? And that's what helps me come to number three, what do I want? And I actually take out a pen and paper and I write these things down. I take the time to write it out and then I build my goals around the things that I truly enjoy, that I focus on whether or not someone is paying me money and then that's the key to understanding what I want. If your dreams in life are just small improvements over time, maybe you dream of just having a happy family, um, your, your goal isn't really changing the world or making a huge impact, and I say, hey, more power to you, right? But again, this video isn't really for you. I wanted, I needed actually to make this video because I just see too many people dialing their life in. I see too many people think that it's too late or that time has passed them by or they've just missed some major moment and it's just not true. If you have a dream or a vision for your life, the way you want your life to look and you're not taking steps towards it, then it's time for this wake up call. It's time to get up once again and start dreaming big and taking actions on those dreams. And it is completely okay if your dreams just feel too big for you. Actually, I think that's how God made it. I think that he made it so that our dreams would need him in order to accomplish them. There's a verse in the Bible, Matthew 19, 26, and it says, with man, these things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So isn't it just like him to give us an impossible dream and then allow himself to be the only way that we can truly make it happen? But he's made us to think and to work and to create. So we still have to take advantage of the time that's been given us and we still have to take those action steps. Dreaming big isn't just about achieving goals either. It's really about aligning your life with your deepest values and passions. When we dare to dream and act on those dreams, 
we open ourselves up to this whole new world of possibility. There's some research from the American Psychological Association that shows people who pursue their passions report higher levels of psychological well-being and satisfaction in life. It makes so much sense, doesn't it? I love the quote by Les Brown, one of my favorite speakers. It says, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. So know that embarking on this journey will not be easy. It's going to take courage, resilience, a willingness to step into the unknown. But remember, many of the most beautiful stories begin with a leap of faith. It's really about progress and not perfection. So know that every step you take toward your dreams is a huge victory. So I challenge you today to start small. Just ask yourself the question, what is one thing I can do this week to move closer to my dream? If that's you and you've got your answer, would love for you to share it in the comments. Let's support each other in our journey towards transformation. And remember, it's never too late to pivot toward a life that truly fills you with joy and with purpose. So thank you for sharing this moment with me. If you're ready to embrace those authentic passions and live the life you've always dreamed of, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And together, we can make our dreams a reality. There's a saying that says the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago but the best next time to plant that tree is right now. So until that time, stay inspired, keep dreaming big, and we'll see you next time.